At the beginning of the movie, a girl named Alaya was running away from some men in the middle of the forest. These people who were following him were none other than his family, and to avoid them, Alaya jumped into the water. Before she drowned, they saved her. After this, we see the scene of the bank, where a man named Rex was standing in line. This is the main character of the movie. Joe was definitely hitting the line on his crush meaty. Then some masked robbers came inside the bank and as soon as they arrived, they killed the security guard. After this incident, there was an atmosphere of fear in the bank. Then Rex saw a gun in a lady's back. But despite having a gun, this lady could not do anything because these robbers looked very dangerous. When everyone was scared, Rex started behaving strangely. Suddenly, lady's back fell into Rex's lap. Now it will be fun. In the video, the scene shifts to the courtroom where Rex was being prosecuted. Killing all the robbers of the bank saved many lives and the bank's money. People consider him a hero. Despite this, he was sentenced to 8 years. And when Mr. Rex's sentence was completed after 8 years, he was left to wander the streets. He was looking at his photo on the cover of a magazine that even after so many years he was seen as a hero in society. But Rex did not mind this because his 8 years were wasted. The public would notice him coming and going. Reporters also follow him. Because of this unwanted fame, Rex started to feel uncomfortable and at this point the voice of his mind came out and started joking with him. Rex was already furious and upset with these reporters. He angrily picked up the desk and slammed it. But in reality nothing like this had happened. All this was imagined by Rex to vent his anger. Most people consider him a hero, but there were some people who saw Rex as just a psycho. After this he went to one of his friends, where he expressed his mind and finally he decided that he would shift to Finland. After this, a man is shown in the jungle who is running to save his life. The people who were chasing this man were the same people who were shown at the beginning. This meant that all these events were happening in Finland, where Rex was going to go. Rex arrived at the airport. People started making videos of him here too. Husband wife was constantly watching him behind him. Due to which Rex got upset with all this and went to the washroom. So there too, the husband came to stare at her. And when Rex came back, the lady was giving him a creepy like smile. All this seemed very strange to Rex. Well, he reached Finland and now he was waiting for a taxi outside the airport. A taxi driver was watching him from a distance. The driver broke the taxi line and parked his taxi right in front of the Rex. Rex got into the taxi. After a while, the driver released some gas from behind, due to which Rex fell unconscious in a short time. Next, we show a house where a normal-looking family was preparing for dinner, but often it is not what it seems. They had tied Rex to their basement. At this time, Rex's hands were tied very firmly, and one of his legs was amputated. Rex was about to scream as soon as he regained consciousness, but someone stopped him. It was none other than the voice in his mind that told Rex to come down. Then Rex's voice of her mind vented his anger by screaming instead of him. Even the voice of her mind was smarter and more dangerous than his. The voice of her mind him was going to play a huge role in Rex's life and death. The voice of her mind made a deep analysis of the whole situation and came to the conclusion that behind her kidnapping, the airport was the husband and wife who were constantly watching her. Rex's hands were tied very tightly, so he had to think of another way to get out of there. According to his inner voice, he had to pretend to be unconscious in front of the kidnappers. After some time, everyone in the psycho family had fallen asleep, except for Olowi, who was the youngest son of the family. He was quite curious about this time hunt, so he wanted to go down to see Rex. Rex didn't have much time left, so he tried to cut the rope with his teeth. Then he heard someone coming and immediately pretended to be unconscious. Rex opened his eyes lightly to see that what he was afraid of was just a minor child. Now he made a plan, according to which he would free himself in exchange for the child. She hit the child with her severed leg and grabbed him between her thighs. Soon after, the child's elder sister realized that her younger brother was missing from the bed. So she went to the basement looking for him. Here we find out that this girl's name is Alaya, who was initially trying to run away from some people. It was the last family who kidnapped Rex this time. Rex threatens Alaya, saying that if he tried any trickery, he would break the child's neck, but he could not hold the child for long with his severed leg, blocking his last way out of here. When Olavi was found unconscious in his room, the psycho family rushed him to the hospital. 
Before leaving, the psycho mother slapped Alaya because she thought that Alaya had hurt her younger brother. Here we find out that Alaya was not like her family. That's why she was initially trying to run away from here. Now only Alaya could help Rex get out of here. Anyway, Alaya fell in love with Rex at first sight and she imagines that Rex and she are married. Now that her family was in the hospital, she immediately went to the basement and went there to treat Rex. Then Alaya told him her feelings. Here Alaya starts telling him about her family and how they started kidnapping so that her elder brother can get food. At this point, we find out that his older brother was a cannibal. These people used to kidnap to satisfy their hunger. When his elder brother didn't like meat, he would force these people to bring another victim. Alaya was tired of seeing the series of deaths. He tried to escape several times, but his psycho family caught him each time, and as a punishment he was locked up in a wooden cage built by his father himself. Alaya did not want to leave Rex in this condition, so she left a knife on the ground and said that you have to pick it up yourself. Rex lifted the knife with his foot and as he began to cut the rope, then Elias three brothers came there and they had come with the intention of killing Rex, but seeing Rex unconscious, they changed their mind. It means the idea of pretending to be unconscious from his inner voice worked. However, Rex alter ego was very angry and wanted to eliminate Cannibal's family immediately. Soon we will find out who the psycho family is dealing with this time. They immediately went to her room looking for Elia, but she was not there, but she was hiding in the basement. Then they came back to the basement and dragged Elia with them. Rex was then injected to make him unconscious. His subconscious mind in an unconscious state goes back 8 years when Rex was fighting robbers in the bank. Finally, we got to see how much more dangerous Rex had become at that moment. He selectively killed all the robbers. Looking at him, it seemed as if his alter ego had taken over him at that time. However, despite his brutality, he became everyone's hero at that time. Finally, Rex saved his lover and the robbers were very scared of him. Despite this, Rex shot him, due to which robber's gun accidentally went towards the cupboard and inadvertently killed a bank employee who was hiding there. So this was the real reason for Rex going to jail. Because of that, an innocent person was killed. Due to Rex's long sentence, Maddie ended all her relationship with him because she did not want to waste her 8 years. That's when Rex regained consciousness. He saw the psychopath trying to cut off his other leg. Then Rex kicked him away, causing him to run to get an injection of anesthesia. Now Rex had very little time left. He started cutting his rope with the knife given by Aliyah, and as soon as the psychopath came there, Rex attacked him with the knife, and without wasting any time, Rex started looking around for some weapons that could be used in his escape. He found some tools, which were going to be very useful for him. Rex fitted a golf stick to his amputated leg and slowly came out of the basement. As soon as he came out, his voice told Aliyah to take him with him. Rex came out of the house, but he did not want to leave without taking Elia. Here it seemed that Rex and his alter ego had made a big decision, which we will find out later. When both husband and wife returned home, they were surprised to see blood stains outside the house. At this time his children were asleep. He gathered everyone in the kitchen and scolded them because despite their surveillance, Rex had run away and he was afraid that Rex had told the police everything. Maybe now he could get here any time with the police. So he decided to vacate the house, but his plan seemed to have failed, because Rex did not run anywhere, but he was waiting for them all to gather under the table. He attacked everyone with the gun, and as Rex tried to kill the psycho mother with the gun, the gun stopped working. Then Rex hit mother on the head with the golf stick. The psycho brother tried to save his mother, but Rex killed him too with a knife and Elia killed her mother from the cage. After all this bloodshed, he was not free because Rex had yet to face Elia's eldest brother, a living monster. This cannibal was slowly moving towards him. His body was as big as a devil's. In the end, there is a fight between Rex and cannibal and as Rex opened the refrigerator door, he saw that his foot was still intact. He seemed overjoyed to learn that Cannibal's family hadn't eaten his leg yet. He put his right foot out of the fridge and attacked the Cannibal with it. After all this ended, Rex took Alea with him to America, where they both started living together. One night, Rex and Alea were having dinner with their friends. At the same time, one of his friends was showing a lot of interest in Rex, which made Alea jealous. Here we find out that Alea also has her own alter ego, just like Rex. 
She began to imagine killing the girl who had shown interest in Rex. This meant that Rex and Olaya were the perfect couple for each other because their life experience was almost the same. Meanwhile, Psycho shows the family's youngest son, who was now cured and vows to avenge his parents' deaths. This is where the story of this movie ends. So friends, if you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to us with your lovely hand. Thanks for watching.